Hospital Porter's pride and dignity. Stop the new world order. Welcome to Herpanwo TV. And welcome to another Herpanwo TV video about Oxford's graffiti. Yes, um, I decided to do a third in this series called Oxford Graffiti. Now, of course, even leaving aside this particular series, there are other videos I've done about non-conformist folk art and my quest to preserve it for as long as the electronic medium allows. But, uh, and I've also covered this, by the way, on Panama Voice for the three or four of you who actually read my uh, written work. Um, I've done a Panama Voice article about this. And indeed, I got into the newspapers at one point quite a few years ago about this particular issue. And they even linked to the uh, little art gallery I created for the, uh, the, the murals on the subway in Headington. Now, um, this, it's been it's been since I think July was the time I last did an Oxford graffiti video. So there have been actually I managed to preserve probably two to three generations of uh, murals um, and graffiti since then. And I've been quite impressed, of course, as always, by the results. The uh, artists are still hard at work, and the graffiti uh, the graffiti scrawlers again. Though I don't really see there's a distinction between those two things because, yes, of course, there is better graffiti than others, but um, it's still, I mean, you can't really draw a, a sharp demarcation between one and the other, I find. It's a, it's a kind of like a continuum between the artistic mural painter, you know, Banksy and Mia One and people like that, and your little kid with a felt tip pen on a, you know, on, a, on some breeze blocks. So, yeah. Well, you can make your own mind up. Anyway, this is all going to be about the ISIS and the bridges and the parapets on the bridges because the, the hoardings at County Centre are gone. The builders have left. The buildings are complete. So we won't be... Those particular canvases are now blank. But, um, yeah, obviously there may be some art around here that I haven't seen because really my, my, my primary vision, my primary scope here is I really just go between home and work and really that's just like the areas of Ifley Rose Hill for work and... Um, and Cowley, Cowley Centre for home. So um, I don't, there's probably a lot in Oxford I don't ever get to see. But um, if I do spot anything else interesting, indeed outside Oxford, I will let you know. Maybe capture it for the next graffiti video. Okay, so then we have a new tag up there. It's very nice, that's very illuminated. And this is all different now. Look at that, that's nice. That's just been put up on, the, on this wall. Oh look! Oh, it's a new pass thing. All right, it's all new. Oh look at this nice chap fighting. These medieval knights. Look at that. Wow. So you can fully see the best from the far side. It's like a unicorn. Look, what's this? That's good. That's excellent. Very good. It's all changed over there as well. Lots of over, you know, overwriting. There's this not so that's German. And look, someone's written over the dogs, coloured dogs, like that there. Someone's like gone over the dog as well. You can't see it very well because the sun will went to get the shade and see it. There we are. Wow. You can see all of it now. That's very good. I mean, for me, that's probably the artist. Amazing. Really incredible. The dog's still there, old faithful. Oh, we've got a. Uh, someone's already painted over this Knights in Knights of the Round Table picture. Look. Oh, I don't know what these symbols mean, but look. Oh, look. Or, I don't know how to pronounce that. That's a shame. It's not bad, but it's just. 
It's not a bad image, but it shouldn't have gone on top of those horses and things. This face here looks a little bit sort of Celtic almost. Reminds me of the face at the, at the Rowan Baths in Bath. That's a recurring tag you see over and over again. I've seen at least three in Cowley and Littlemore area here in Oxford. I'll show you some of the others. Right, I'm on Rose Hill here. Um, <coughs> that tag looks to me like the graphic painted underneath the, the bypass bridge by the river. L-A-E-K, Oak. It's like Oak with an E in it. There's Oak again and you're along here, look. And there's the bath face, so I've chosen to call it. Happy Halloween. This is 2022 Halloween graffiti. Oh, there's Vampire Snoopy and Ghost. Oh, that's Woodstock with it. This is Charlie Brown. Woodstock dresses a ghost. R.O.P. Charlie Brown. Oh, this is good, look. That's very good. Over here we have some more ghosty type things. There's jack-o'-lanterns there. It's one of the two I don't know what that means. That's another weird Rongo Rongo script. It's gravestone. Count Dank Dank Duckula. Count Dankula. And there's for bottom. Got any more exploding carats? Count Nice zombie. The cemetery there. That's really good. That's excellent. Zoinks. Oh, it's oh, shaggy and snoopy. Not snoopy. Scooby, Scooby Doo. And there is another doggy case. Now, you've always got to look behind a photograph or behind the page of whatever it is you're reading or we're looking at. I've come behind the bridge. There's the towpath is on the other side of this wall. This, this is actually uh, one of the supports for the bridge, one of the legs of the bridge. We have a wonderful zombie there. It's a brilliant zombie. And it's illuminated. Happy Halloween, illuminated text. Come on here, it's all got to stick to me here. Wouldn't want to come down here at night. And then, you can see that there. More illuminated text, I think. It's 2022 is a recent launch. Some tags there. And there's another doggy. These a sausage dog is a, or it's a kind of recurring theme uh, in this area of the river. See the dog there. Um, go through this way. But you'll see where we are in a minute. There's the towpath. And here. There we are, back where we were before. Okay, we've got some new, <coughs> excuse me, we've got some new artwork here on the, the bridge here, the bypass bridge in Oxford. Hasn't changed over there, I don't think. But here we have, the dog has been painted over with Happy Halloween there. But these just appeared yesterday. That's the Riddler from the Batman comics there. I don't know if there's an explosion or a flower there, but look, it says won't, one won't. I like the, the things at the background, it's like buildings, there's a church there, see? Oh, that's good, isn't it? And that is a. Oh, I forgot what that's called. Someone watching this will know what that character is. There's the tags there. What's this? this is, that's Catwoman, I think. And this is... And this is... Uh, again, I don't know what that is. But you can see... Amazing graphics there, artwork. I mean, illuminated images. That's Dr. Doom from the Spider-Man comic, I think. <coughs> More illuminated text. And finally, again, I don't recognise that one, but is that Wolverine or something? I don't know. Good knows. And the, they're probably going to be more added here. The dog's been painted over. So that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, I'm 
I'm, uh, I'm just checking the, the new graffiti along here, along this little road here. I had this in time a while ago. Um, let's have a look. We've got, we've got another of these faces, which are these half face images, which are very, very common. They seem to be a recurring theme. It's like exploring cave art, isn't it? And we've got this amazing graphic, this amazing text. I uh, can't read that, but it's in beautiful sort of grass, almost almost like military camouflage-like colours here, with a smiling face, and there's the tag there. And um, that, that one there, I think it was there before, that's uh, blue text there. And um, another half face there, over here, that's that. And here we have an image, by a illuminated text by, by of course, saying Bucks, very clearly visible and readable. And here... It's the tag with a dollar sign there, so that's uh, interesting. That's in this little alleyway here, which you've seen before if you've watched this series of videos. B, uh, this looks like a B, this BU is probably where they may have tried to write here before and gave up. I um, don't know if there's any more here. That sense is that there. We can see here that this wall is being prepared for the next cycle of murals. That dog was, I think, deleted a while ago. But over here, past Doctor Doom and these other characters, which I pointed out to you earlier, you can see the cat, the, the Catwoman image has been obliterated. It's been covered by this blackwash, and which means there's probably going to be um, a new generation of murals on there shortly. I must say, on the other side, this this uh, this fat slob here, representing Thames Water. You see it's written on as Willy. Has been there, that's had amazing staying power, I must say. So the sewer pipe has been painted over, but the uh, the actual fat bastard is still there. That's got to be close to a year now. That hasn't actually been replaced. Now this wall has shown itself to be remarkably resilient. Again, this the, the red dog is still there, the unicorn. I don't think there have been any changes actually since the last time I filmed this wall. If you detect any, let me know. I'm not going to go back and recheck everything I've filmed so far. There's me, M, E, another letter. The Russian thing has got on this. Thing. This mural is being left, I think, simply for sentimental reasons because it's a permanent, I think, memorial to Hussein, a young student who uh, died very suddenly, keen rower member of the rowing club died very suddenly of a, I think he had a heart attack or something, a tumour on his heart. This is before the you know what, so there's no connection there. And so that was Oxford's Graffiti. Oxford's Graffiti for February 2023. There'll be another one, I'm sure, because uh, of course it's an ongoing project. Uh, the new, more videos coming soon. I'm going to do another comments reply video very soon. Of course, there's my own there's my own version of the Apollo Detectives as well. I can't wait for that to come out. Oh, to, I, I, I to see Steve Mumbling's face when that comes out. It's going to be fantastic. So uh, thank you all of you for watching. Hospital Porters, pride and dignity. Stop the New World Order.